You know that the New York Yankees just recruited a right and a left-handed pitcher. Same guy. Boy, you talk about changing it up. Wow. Yeah. We'll be talking about changing things up a little bit, breaking your routine. Stay with us. Talking about being happy, that's what we do. We're happy talkers. Not just talking about it, we're doing it. I mean, here we are. Proof is in the pudding. Ooh. Is so, or tapioca? we're talking about, not Canadian. What are we talking about today? We're talking about uh, just changing things up. Change a little it bit. up a little bit. You know, don't get caught in the rut. Don't get caught in the rut. If you've written with your right hand, if you've all written your with life, your right hand all your life, switch to the, switch left. To the left. That's an easy. That's one. an easy one. <laughs> Uh, that's an easy one. It's not an easy one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And, and absolutely unnecessary. Yeah. Here's what Jeff's trying to say. If you're unhappy, and God bless you if you are, because it's because of people like you that people like we get to do this for. <laughs> no, you want to be happy. It's true. I'm just messing with you. Uh, the idea here is that if you get into a rut, Sometimes that's a cause of unnecessary pressure, frustration. Um, complacency. Complacency yeah. is a good one. We want to keep progressing. We want to keep growing. We want to keep changing and improving. And over the course of a lifetime, if you're stuck in the same routines, especially if you, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're lucky and blessed enough to have a nine to five job that, bless your heart, you get to do for 40 years and then retire. But if you've loved it, I mean, I'm not saying you do what you got to do, but it's, it's possible that you could get into some ruts. And that might mm -hmm. be uh, at least part of the root of why you're not happy. Because don't we kind of, we kind of crave change? Yeah. I'm, unfortunately, you're creatures of habit, right? No, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm not going to cause any waves, especially at work. You think about your work situation like you were talking about. No, I'm not going to go above and beyond. I'm just going to keep doing keep what I do. Keep my head down. Right. Don't get in trouble. Don't fly above the radar. Don't need promotions or, or penalties. And that's, yeah, come on. Ch change it up a little bit. Find out what you can do within the realms of boundaries that are expected. But approach the boundaries at least. Don't stay way far away from them. Yeah, right? agreed. Yeah, you got to stretch yourself. And sometimes stretching and changing is painful. It almost always is. There's some phase of uncomfortability that you just have to push through and get used to. And so some things you can do yourself, you know, uh, like if you drive the same way to work every day, it seems like a small thing, but you know, maybe try a different route or use Waze, you know, the app Waze, W-A-Z-E. Yeah and uh, let that take you a different way. Sometimes, you know, traffic can make you unhappy and kind of sap your energy for the day too. And it might yeah. be something as simple as finding an alternate route that maybe you didn't even know really existed. Yeah. I know for a while I actually, I was so dang bored and I thought it would be kind of fun that I became a, um, Uber. an Uber and a yeah. Lyft yeah. driver. Yeah. I did it for like a, one month one summer, last summer actually, summer of 2017. I actually got kind of charged up by how this little app Waze would find ways for me to get where I was going that I automatically never thought of. Like I assumed I'm going to jump on the interstate, I'm just going to go down three exits and turn left. But this thing knew that based on the algorithms of traffic and responses from other Waze users, that it would be faster to not go on the interstate, but to turn left here, turn right here. Here's a little pathway or a road or an avenue I didn't even really know existed. Hmm. And it drove me right past this and there's no cars here. I mean, it's really kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, if you think you know your way around, just try using an alternate uh, approach on a GPS device, but particularly yeah. this one. And most of them nowadays, I think, are real-time updates. Even, you know, the maps mm -hmm. on your iPhone. Uh, yeah. I think they've actually, I think iPhone, Apple might have even bought Waze. I think so they, they might have, even be yeah, using, leveraging Google the somebody, same, somebody is yeah, using that yeah. same technology. Yeah. yeah. Here's a fun one. Try brushing your teeth with the opposite hand. Ooh. Yeah. That's a weird one. You think you know your mouth. The way around your mouth. That would be my left hand. Yeah, just try it. I mean, it's. Well, it's I don't know weird. my way around your mouth. Well, I'm glad you don't. Oh, no, it's disgusting, yeah. as it is. Uh, do this. Go ahead and fold your arms, right? So you fold your arms, oh, yeah. you know, and then unfold them and fold them again. And, and probably 99% of us fold our arms the exact same way every single time because it's comfortable, it's easy. But when you try to do it the other way. I'm not having yeah, you can. <laughs> you're not having any luck, John Merrick. Yeah. You know, you have to. You kind of, it, it feels weird, but if you get, if you do it, I mean, eventually yeah. you can do it. Can do it. So it's doable. You it's just a little it. uncomfortable and it might even look weird to you, but what it doesn't about, look weird to other people. sporty type stuff? 
Yeah. What, what kind of what kind of things can I do in in the realm? Of well, sports? you know, I mean, you can do mm -hmm. anything different in sports all you want, or you could even try new sports, right? All of your friends golf, but you've never golfed, so go golfing with them. You know, they got these top flight top. Top, top golf, top golf yeah. places yeah. where you don't even really have to know how because if they put you up high enough, you just make contact with the ball. You're going to look like friggin' Sam Sneed. Yeah, <laughs> there's a dated reference. Yeah, sure. Sam Sneed. That's a great name. Who? Uh, Justin uh, uh, Timberlake. Timberlake. Yeah. No, great golf Bobby player. Rose and and yeah, Tommy and Two Twinkles. Billy Shaw. And uh, Elvis Mandangle. I mean, yeah. all those guys. They're the, at the top of their, uh, their game. <laughs> they are. No, the, right. <laughs> but, you know, you can try, you can step out of your comfort zone. We've talked about this before and, and do something new. If somebody invites you to go karaokeing, go with them one night. If somebody says, we want to go see this new movie and you go, you know, uh, Tom Cruise really isn't my style. I'm not that interested. Go anyway. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like just last night, my daughter wanted to watch Monsters University. And I'm like, this is the who knows umpteenth time I've seen some, uh, you know, animated movie. Uh, granted, it's John Goodman and Billy Crystal, two phenomenal talents. So I put it on and I, within the first five or ten minutes, I was just totally into this movie. Right. Loved it. No regrets at all. Yeah. I mean, you'll surprise yourself if you try something that you, you're already kind of closed off about, but then you go ahead and do it. Do you have anything else that you think of that you've maybe somebody invited you to try that you thought you would never want to do? And then when you finally did it, you went, gosh, this is actually kind of fun. Like, I'll give you one while you're thinking. Okay. All right. My wife has been doing gardening forever. That's her thing. I mean, we have trees and flowers and bushes everywhere. And this was, a, is it, we're living in a desert. She's done all of this herself. She's a master gardener. She works at a nursery, for heaven's sakes. Mm. She asked me, you know, if I ever wanted to help her weed or, you know, put plants in or, or do trees. And I said, absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, that was a life-changing experience for <laughs> him. I'm just not going to do uh, it. Yeah. There's just no way. Here's a tough one. No, no, no. I was going to say, no. <laughs> I, although I'm still not terribly interested in it, it's not like a passion for me, what I loved about it was seeing something grow. Yeah. Like at our last house and at this house, you know, when she said, you're in charge of these trees, you know, so I would have to pick out the tree, plant the tree with my sons, and then you go back and you see it years later, and it's this beautiful tree, and you go, I did that. You yeah. know, I didn't make it, yeah. but I put it in, yeah. you know, or you're in charge of the lawns, and so that one's a little more like a traditional mm. thing, because yeah. it's, I, I, you know, labor I understand. Yeah. But I don't know the difference between a pyracantha bush and a rose bush. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I, yeah. I don't get that and I don't want to. But at least getting out with her a little bit, we feel closer, yeah. a little happier, yeah. doing something that stretches. That's a good one because that's something that uh, made me feel closer uh, to my wife was my wife's vegan. She's got horrible food allergies, so she has to eat vegan. And I did it for three months with her. Yeah. And it was pretty easy, actually. It wasn't that hard, except well, when I yeah. traveled. It was a little bit difficult but because she eats that way and cooks that way anyway at home. But it, it just kind of made me really understand a lot of stuff that she's going through that I wouldn't have understood otherwise. So do things a little differently. Stretch yourself. Like, for example, here we are. Uh, just a quick you know, visual example. We've got a basketball thing out here. Jeff, are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. So do you play much basketball? I know for a long time. it's been a while. Yeah. So... You know, so show me how you show me your shot right-handed. Oh, Terrible, just yeah. as expected. <laughs> okay, stop. Shoot from there, right there. Our game here is you, wherever you get it, you got to shoot from. All right, so again, try another one. I'm not gonna see. He's not gonna make anything. There's one. Okay, so basically, you feel comfortable shooting right-handed, albeit somewhat, hey, somewhat hampered by a lack of ability. Now, uh, here you want to stand behind me so you can see. I'm also a right-handed shooter, and I also miss because it's been a while for me, and I'm wearing a dress shirt, sort of. Okay, but that's comfortable. Now let's see some left-handed dribbling, left-handed dribble. All right, come do a right-handed layup. Can you do a layup? Okay. Oh, nice. Wow. Now I got to do the lefty. Okay, now the lefty. All the way lefty. Not bad, but does it feel a little uncomfortable? Yeah, I'm the same way. Now, I, you know, years ago I started, I can't even dribble right or left-handed. But if I come in, yeah, I, it's not easy. But let me try that left-handed shot that we did a minute ago that was right when you were right behind me. Yeah, it's perfect. Practice makes perfect. All right, now you, here, here you go from here with your left hand. Good heavens, oh, you're, that's looking pretty good. 
That's terrible. So the lesson here, of course, is that if you already are pretty bad at playing basketball, it's not going to matter what hand you switch to. No, not at all. But uh, just for here, just to, just to finish our lesson, let me show you. I've switched to my left hand from here. Oh, so close. And I missed. And yet so far. And that's the power of happiness. Look into it. See what we did right there? Ooh. See that? Hey. We changed it up a little bit. Now I'm standing on your left and he's standing on my left. That's what we do. And in the spirit of changing things up, uh, why don't you go ahead and like this one? Since you've probably not liked any of them up till this point. This would be a good change for yeah, you. Good change up and if you haven't subscribed, that's another good change. Go ahead and subscribe. And then later when you know we're not in the room, you can unsubscribe so it won't hurt our feelings. Thank you.